Hi everybody and welcome to Gross Anatomy. I'm Adrian, I'll be your host and your physical therapist. And today we're talking about ankle sprains. Oh my gosh. If you've ever had an ankle sprain, you know it can range from a simple moment of feeling clumsy to a limp that you're gonna have for several days. In today's episode, we answer the following questions about ankle sprains. What is an ankle sprain? What should you do right after you sprain your ankle? What exercises to do for your ankle? A hip exercise you should be doing that can help protect your ankles. And at the end, I'm going to share with you one habit that you might be doing that might make you more likely to sprain an ankle. <gasps> and all these things you can do at home with little to no equipment. So a ligament connects bone to bone. A sprain is when the ligament gets injured. Next bone, bone to bone. Next, bone to bone. Bone to bone, bone to bone. Sure. So a sprain is when the ligament is injured and gets a few tears, but is not completely ruptured. Ligaments are there to protect us from unexpected injury or when the muscle is too weak or it doesn't respond fast enough. Thank goodness for ligaments because they are a backup for when muscles aren't able to help. An ankle gets sprained when our ankle ligament called the anterior talofibular ligament gets injured. So if this happens to you, what do you do immediately? The body's initial response to injury is inflammation. By using ice, you can slow down the body's response to inflame the ankle and hence reduce mobility. However, inflammation is a normal process to injury. Using ice for 10 to 20 minutes at a time for the first 24 to 36 hours is ideal. My suggestion is to use a bag of vegetables and then eat them. Because we know that a sprain is when the ligament gets overstretched, we want to protect the ankle from being stretched even more. Think of a rubber band that has a tear in it. You wouldn't want to use it to hold things together, would you? Usually it's important to use some type of brace to protect the ankle. Something very simple should suffice, like an ace bandage. If you don't have that, wearing shoes that go over your ankle and tying the top works. Also using a sock that goes over your ankle can give a tiny bit of support. Actually tie your shoes? Don't do this. And don't use duct tape. Finally, because gravity pulls things down, remember to elevate your foot. If the foot is very badly swollen, remember to put the foot above the level of the heart. If it's not that severe, it's okay to put it on the chair or the couch. The number one reason for ankle sprains is weak ankles. Sometimes clumsiness is a sign of this. But I don't blame you because going to the gym on ankle day is not really a thing. Ankle exercises aren't exactly sexy. The first exercise is simple and no equipment needed. These are common, but I should emphasize that these can be done incorrectly. You must understand that the brain needs to wake these muscles up first before they get stronger. So the most important part of this exercise is to concentrate. Mentally think about what you are doing. Also, your body is going to try to compensate. So always make sure that the only thing that you are moving is your ankle joint. Make sure your knee doesn't lock out, your thigh doesn't twist, and your toes don't move much. And make sure you move slowly. Try to make this motion smooth and controlled. Try to get rid of any turbulence the ankle makes. Okay, so now you've woken up the muscles, but now you must make them stronger. You need to make sure your muscles can support your activity. Most of us walk places and for a prolonged period of time. So if you can, use bands in separate hands and similar to previously, you control the motion and push the band. If you don't have a band, you can also use a weight. The goal is to control the ankle movement. No compensating and concentrate. Do 40 repetitions in each direction or spend about five minutes practicing these movements. A strong ankle is important. It's our foundation. And ladies, wearing heels, you've got even more work to do. And men, if you wear heels, you should work on this too. Yo, know, what's up? Come downstairs, let's go party. All right, I'm coming down. Um, listen, give me a couple minutes because it's gonna take me a while to get downstairs. I just got these brand new shoes that I have to break in, so it might take me a couple minutes, right? Uh, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, later. All right, hurry up. But not only if you wear heels, but construction workers who have to walk on uneven ground or dancers who are always jumping, landing, twisting, but also mundane activities like going up and down stairs. Everything is connected. 
Often, one part of the body suffers because another part of the body isn't doing its job. Because they're all connected. Uh. Plenty of research has shown that the hip abductor muscle, the gluteus medius, is important in stabilizing the lower body. This is the abductor muscle. And it makes sense. The hip is a big, powerful muscle that can help control the rest of the leg. So Jane Fonda, Suzanne Summers, and Richard Simmons were right all along. Doing leg raises can help support your ankle. I recommend being able to do a minimum of 40 in a row. You might be doing it to yourself and not realizing it. You don't have to take it from me. This was worn back in 1949 before many of us were even born. Stepping on your foot or tucking them into your chair stretches out your muscles and can make them weak. This doesn't mean you can't do it. It just means don't overdo it. Be aware of how much time you spend sitting like that. Think about the rubber band now. But now, it's as if you stretched it for several hours. Eventually, it will lose its power and so will your ankle muscles. And that's our show for today. So what did you learn today? You learned that a ligament connects bone to bone, a sprain is an injury to the ligament. Ankle sprain is typically an injury to the anterior talofibular ligament. You learn some ankle exercises, and you learn that leg raises for the hip abductor muscle can help recover your ankle and prevent future ankle sprains. And finally, you learn to be more aware of your foot posture when you're sitting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button. And in the comments below, let me know how you've sprained your ankle in the past. Thanks for watching Gross Anatomy, and remember, they're all connected. It's all connected. Viva la vida.